Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the basement because my awesome all powers S2000 has stopped responding. So I'm gonna film this in the case that I succeed fixing it. At the moment if we look very carefully you can kind of see something green coming out there on the DC side. So something green and a camera <laughs> and other than that it doesn't doesn't do anything. Display doesn't come on, nothing nothing does anything. If you plug in solar power to it, uh, the fan starts and I do think it's charging somehow, but I don't know why I think that. So uh, to take this apart, in the bottom there are feet, uh, rubber feet that you need to take off. There's four of those. I've already done that uh, and then I thought I better record this. What if it works? That would be awesome. Then we have some rather big talks down here. Uh, it's not talks, it's Allen keys. So we need to find the right size. Could be this one. It is this one. So we borrow that one. Uh, probably pretty long. Uh, they go all the way to the top. Oops, really beefy stuff. So I'm gonna remove all of those. There, so now I shouldn't probably use the handles anymore because the top is, um, is gonna come off. And there is some wiring that goes to the different connectors up there. So there is a connector for the power coming in. That one, it's nice and toasty in here. And there is a connector for all the power going out. So, um, yeah. Those are probably not it. They're fine. I was hoping that I was just going to be able to remove a connector and put it back on and then everything would be fine. So... Okay, these are... This is power coming in from the battery. Two big beefy connectors there. Two other big beefy connectors here. So I think we should just try and disconnect these four and see if that brings us anywhere. I'm gonna number them. Okay, so with a marker I mark three, four, one, two. So I'm gonna disconnect these four things which I think goes to the batteries and see if uh, a disconnection from the battery, if that will do the trick. DC lights are still on. Oh, that part is not great. Hmm. I do wonder what voltage one of those connectors says. So we'll just try and let's see plus and minus. So there's like 24 volts there. Another 24 volts. Twenty-four volts. And twenty-four volts. So there is good power coming out of them. Okay. Still DC lights in that one. Okay, so we'll try and connect all the power again. Let's see, three. This probably didn't do a thing. Two. One. There. Not a thing. Hmm. 
so that wasn't it. Then there are some MPPT, this one says. So let's try and mark that. That's a smaller connector. So this is gonna be five. Hmm, I think this might be it. MPPT, so that's from the solar charge controller. Still light in that one. It's another one sitting down here. So that's going to be number six. Number six. Let's try and disconnect that. Connect it again. Still light in the DC. Okay, let's pop that back in. Nothing has changed. Okay, I have removed the top. I took off the two connectors, uh, the one and that one. I marked one of them. And then I've removed four screws from the top, very large PCB here that sits in, on top of the battery bank. And um, that's because I saw this connector down here. And apparently this control thing comes up a bit and I wanted to disconnect and try and disconnect this one so we're gonna try that so disconnect that and now we definitely lost the, the green thing there so I also disconnected everything else ish so I'm gonna try and connect that back in nothing really working so I'm gonna try and Connect everything back up again. Ow! How the hell do they do this? Oops. Okay, I'll put this back on and I'll let you know how it went. Got it back in spot. Had some tape on this to not lose them. So five and six. What's here? Four, there. Power here. Three. One. Four. Number one. Number two. And the top is not really important. That didn't do a whole lot. There's power on that again. So now I can, can lift this up a little bit and I can disconnect this now that I know how it works. And this one disconnects that green LED, if nothing else. And the green LED is back on. I've tried to disconnect mostly everything uh, on and off and on and off. It hasn't really done anything. So I'm just gonna disconnect everything again. I was thinking it might have been undercharged. Uh, so my idea was that maybe if we charge it a little bit, maybe that will do something. Uh, so I have the power supply, we measured 24.11 volts coming out of each of, of them, didn't we? 24 24.10 24.10 24.10 24.10 Yes, so I was gonna try and put 26 volts uh, 
into the connectors, shut the batteries up a little bit manually. There. <laughs> okay, they take quite a lot. You can kind of see them there. It's getting the voltage up. 100 uh, watts going into that battery. And yeah, bringing the voltage up. It's probably going to take a while. Rather powerful battery, so yeah, maybe 26 volts is um, is a bit much. Do wonder if that one is connected to something else. If I measure the same voltage over here, if I measure more now, then they are connected. 24.17. Yeah, okay, so apparently they're kind of connected in some way. So I'm charging all of them at once. Well, we're gonna let this run for a bit. See if um, if that will do anything good for us. And I might be charging with 100 watts here, but well, this unit should be 1,500 watts hour. So let's just say this was completely drained. Uh, it should take me 15 hours to charge this up again. So yeah, it's a rather large battery that sits in there. Okay, it's a few hours later. We're up to 25 point. Uh, three volts. Let's just measure one of these and see what it says. Probably says a bit less. 24.74. So I'm gonna try and disconnect power. And try and measure the difference, see if, if they're at about the same voltage, all of them. Or if they are different. So this one is 24 24.68, 24.67, 24.67, 24.67, so, oh luckily I only had to charge one of them, so. So let's try and connect all of this again, see what happens. It's a few days later and I have been investigating this and um, yeah, it's, it's more or less all apart now but I have been reading some forums where uh, people has had issues with this uh, power station and the issue is when you have the solar panels connected to it and the sun is going down well then the power station it won't cut the power quickly enough so it it tries to use the solar panels which means that it's powering on and off a whole lot as soon as it starts pulling power from the solar panels it seems to be oh then it shuts down then the when it's not doing anything the, the voltage of the solar panels comes up again and then it shuts down and it does that continuously and there are some relays that flickers forth and back and yeah if only it was the relays that uh, that was affected but i found or i read that it's this front panel that is um, that is affected this front panel becomes defective and it does it by corrupting the data in this microcontroller here so this microcontroller uh, the boot sequencer and the data to control and what the unit is should be doing well that becomes corrupt and then it doesn't boot anymore so people has fixed this by reprogramming this with the same data that it had it intentionally it's it's kind of on a circuit board here so probably you could connect to some of these pins here and you can program it and uh, your microcontroller is good to go um, 
people with defective power station has had this board shipped to them and uh, that fixes the issue so my board is clearly defective or the microcontroller has deleted its data on there so um, yeah i need to mess with that so apparently it's this thing that needs to be reprogrammed to uh, to have the software in there it's on a board that is soldered on another board so um, i don't know if it's possible to desolder that but that would even that would be a hassle to remove the you can see there is like an an extra circuit board there there there's an extra circuit board with the processor or controller on it and inside that controller there's some software and that software has gotten corrupted by uh, the unit turning on and off rapidly S apparently i found this long block about this issue it was in German, but it wasn't anything that Google Translate couldn't uh, fix for me. The guy that solved this, he very quickly made a business uh, idea out of it. So if, uh, if you want to have him fix your issues, you can send the control panel to him and he would charge, I think it was 120 euros. If you sent the whole power station, it would be 165 euros. And yeah, that's a lot of money. So I'm also um, talking to my All Powers contact, Kritz, and uh, I'm hoping that, that maybe we can figure out something. I would really like to try and reprogram this, but I must admit, I have never done that before, and I would have to, to figure out what the pin connections were. So uh, uh, they do have like some explanation up here. as like 3.3 volt, RX, TX, and ground. So, uh, could be the communications for the thing, but it definitely looks like there's programming pins on it. Those four, or those four there could be for programming and reading in and out data from it. Unfortunately, this is not an, an easy fix. It would have been so cool if it was just take this out and short circuit a couple of pins and then everything was good again and it, it seems that it's not as easy you need to take this out put some programming pins on the cpu reprogram it and then put it back in and then it should be back to where it was it's not a permanent fix to uh, to fix the issue but well it's a fix to get it up and running again so unfortunately i'm not ready to do this in this video because i would need something to program this and uh, yeah i need to figure out what i need to program it it's probably rather simple it's something like a little usb thing and some wires coming out of it i'm guessing sorry that's um, that's my progress so far i will leave the very long thread on um, on this issue in the description if you want to go read it maybe you can read it and help me out i don't know but thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye